and the Oscar goes to... I gotta tell you, kiddies, I've been trying all day to make this video Can't because when I saw this last night, I wept with joy. When I saw it again on the news this morning, I wept with joy. I am so unbelievably happy for K. Hoi Kwan. He is somebody that I have admired my whole life. He is actually the reason that I am a comic book artist now. And I got the opportunity at a comic book convention in Little Rock a couple of years ago when he was still just the dude that played Short Round and just the dude that played Data on the Goonies. And I got a chance to go and meet him, give him a copy of one of my comic books that I did, and thank him for this amazing career that I get to have. And it's all because he inspired me as a kid. I wanted to be Data so bad. And my mom wisely would not let me go to the junkyard and collect junk to build a jacket like his without making a detailed set of plans first because she knew I would drag home every cool thing that I found. And she didn't want her house full of junk. And I don't blame her. She was a wise, beautiful woman. So I had to start drawing out detailed plans of what I wanted my coat to be. And it kept getting more and more complicated. And Inspector Gadget comes out. Now i got to figure out how to strap a lawnmower engine to a football helmet so I can fly like Inspector Gadget. And then I get into Iron Man. And oh, well now it starts to go from a coat to a whole super-powered suit of armor. And next thing you know, I've been drawing all this crazy, ridiculous stuff for years. And I'm so much more invested in the storytelling idea and the coming up with new amazing ideas than I am about actually building a coat that, you know, shoots oil slicks out of the shoes. But if it hadn't have been for that spur of imagination that I got from watching Data and the Goonies, if I hadn't have fell in love with that character that he created, then I never would have this career that I have. I wouldn't have 60 plus books that I've worked on in the last few years and creeping up on over 100,000 dollars dollars that we've helped raise life. in my fundraisers for these books. I wouldn't have this amazing career that kept my kids fed all through COVID if it wasn't for this man. So I am so happy to get to see him get the praise he deserves. Have a good day, baby, and Yoko Fishy loves you. Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, Please keep your dreams alive. Thank you, thank you so much for welcoming me back. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.